Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I enjoy being creative and love trying new tricks. I also love toys. My goal for this channel is to challenge myself and create fun stuff for myself. If you want to see me explore ideas and figure out ways to DIY a variety of stuff, click the subscribe button. I made a Joy-Con style game cartridge last time. Check it out, if you haven't already. Today, I am going to improve, upgrade, enhance this great Sayuman figure, so he can stand on a mini stage and look cooler on my display. I will be using everyday basic tools and material. Saving myself some money, so I can spend it on my next figure. Haha. <laughs> the great Sayuman is a Dragon Ball Z character that kicked off the blue arc. Gohan, son of Goku, is now a teenager and goes to high school. In order to conceal his identity and power, he would fight crime under his great Sayuman superhero persona. Upon his arrival, he often poses in front of his target. Unfortunately, this is also the period where Gohan becomes sad to watch. He went from being the strongest fighter on earth to losing every single battle in humiliating fashion. It was tragic to witness as a Gohan fan. Anyway. Let's not focus on the embarrassing side of this character. Before we start, let's have a look at the figure. This figure captures the essence of the great Sayuman very well. The pose is different from the other figures. Instead of doing the museum pose, he has his hands on his hips. The great Sayuman is always posing. Part of his helmet is glossy, giving off the illusion of glass. His cape is also dynamically posed, as if there's a wind machine behind him. I don't understand why all the figures look so weird sideways. But he seems very happy about it. Anyway. Great figure overall. So. Can I make it? Now let's set the stage. I cut out this piece of paper to help visualize the scale of the stage I want. The size is perfect. I want to do something different for this figure. I want to emphasize his pose with the background. Great Sayuman and his own little stage. This is going to be fun. First, let's prep the cutting mat. We are going to cut this packaging cardboard that came with the furniture. The good thing is I have so many of these. I am going to do the exact same measurements as my test stage. And then I am going to cut cut cut. And then cut cut cut. Perfect. That looks like a mini stage. Okay, let's see how great Sayuman looks standing on it. That looks great. Now for the background. I want to emphasize his pose. Great Sayuman always does this dance. And then poses in the end. In anime, they always use these directional lines on a colorful background to make static poses more dynamic. To replicate that scene, I am going to start with this blue background. Blue would look good on him, because it will make his costume stand out more. Then I added these lines. Perfect. A simple yet impactful background. Hi, yep. Here's it printed. Now I am going to trim the borders out. Cut cut cut. And more cut cut cut. Let's see how it looks on the cardboard. Uh, it fits perfectly. I am just going to use a regular glue stick to stick it on. I don't want the paper to warp due to the moisture. Let's put Great Sayaman back on and have a look. Yes. Yes. It looks more dynamic like this. The background is a bit flimsy. I am going to reinforce it with cardstock paper. Using glue stick again, because I don't want a warpy background. Tada! But wait! I actually made another version of the background. This one has thicker lines, so I can make it even more dynamic. I am going to repeat the same steps and make sure it fits up is not warping.
and it looks just as energetic as the other background. I love this so much. I would stop there normally, but I want it even more dynamic. I have made a copy of this background and cut out just the lines. I added some buffers behind the thicker lines, and I will glue this on top of the background. I can't believe it worked. It kind of looks 3D, especially at an angle. Haha. <laughs> this is amazing. Alright. Here's the finished upgrade. Here he is on the first background. 10 times better than just having the figure by itself. What these anime lines do, is that it draws your attention to the center of the frame. Now let's compare him with the other background. I think I like the second background more, because I like things that are 3D. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's compare him with his father, Goku. And let's add trunks to the lineup too. They look so good together. Check out how I upgraded them, if you haven't already. I had so much fun upgrading them. Now I want to make a bunch of these and put them in a row. They are going to look so awesome side by side. Now here's the final product. If you like what I've done, please share this video and give this a like. Subscribe for more content like this. I can make it, so can you. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Seven years has passed since Gohan defeated Cell. He has now a teenager and needs to conceal his secret identity. And, behold. The great Simon is here. Two dynamic backgrounds to choose from. The Great Simon and his little stages now available, batteries not included.